Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to connect the bulb from the main source. Assume this is the main source. You have MCB, you have meter, exim, you have meter switch, you have a switch, and you have a holder, and you have the bulb. Let's start with connecting main to MCB. This is our main source and this is double pole. Let's put it on. We can test that our current is here. Let's test. Still no current. You can see current is here. It is flowing. From there, we have an exing meter. Exing meter. Can connect it to the, our MCV. It is a line conductor in. Can connect it. is a return and the return should go here inside the meter with another return it's outgoing you can connect it like this but you should make sure that no bare conductor can be seen in the meter it like this make a good bend you can unscrew then screw it Zing meter can put it off. Yeah, is um, the light turning on? This is a return, return terminal from the meter. This is a return terminal from the meter. Yeah, you can see this is the main from the main yeah is uh, mcb our double pole here it's up to like a main switch to the meter it cuts current if you can see if i put it here the meter is on but we still need to put it off so that we can continue with our connection yeah this is the return from the meter and this is our splitter switch is this we can use splitter switch or consumer unit. Well, in this case, we can use this is our splitter switch. This is uh, our terminal, our live terminal out. We can connect it.
this is known as CIU and this CIU is used to mainly to pay you can pay with token you can buy you can pay with token pay bill is uh, eight Eight, eight, five times, then zero. That is eight, 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 then zero. That should be six digit. Eight, five times, then zero. Then you can go to that is a pay bill of Kenya Power. You can go and pay. Eight, five times, then zero. Then the account number is the meter number. Then the token. That digit you will find from. Uh, from your SMS, you can come and and click it here. But let me put it so that it can work with the meter. This is it. We can add it as well as ten tick here. But be very careful not in touch, not be not get contact with a, li a live conductor. You should consider that for your safety. Here we go. As you can see, we have mount the CU with the meter and we are continuing, we are at the splitter switch and uh, let's connect this with a uh,
so far we have connected our MCB to the source and the meter to our MCB double pole and we have connected CIU to the zinc meter we have connected our splitter switch to the meter is a return is a live conductor in is a live conductor out as the live conductor out should be connected to the switch let's do that let's connect it to the switch so that half life can get from the switch to the valve so that our switch can control the valve by cutting off half life and energizing half life. This, this is life. This is life terminal. The life terminal is always connected at common. You can look here, we have common, we have one way, we have two way. Common, one way, two way. Always consider that their con conductor does not overlap on the surface, should be inside, should be inside. That is live conductor. You can see this one is this one is connected to neutral. That is neutral. This goes direct to the Older. First of all put that cover then connect neutral then this one is our half life half life from beta let's connect it half life this is life from holder The half life should be connected from the switch to holder. This is our switch and always at one way. One way because we want to control this valve from one position. That valve you want to control from one position. Let's close it to avoid getting in contact with their conductor. We close it like this. You can see it is neat. So far, we can see we have connect everything, and uh, these are our main switch. And these are switch. These are switch to the valve. So we should be modifying. So that
to cut our wire around. If you look at our wire run, you can notice something. What do you notice? The return goes direct to the valve. The live conductor goes to the switch and then come out with a half life to the valve. We can as well as place our valve. Okay, here it is. Let's test our working and we can start by testing the light conductor from the main. You can see the current is on. We can put it on. Let's wait to see what is happening. As you can see, our hexameter is on. CRU. That sound unit is on. CRU. CRU can deflect, you can see. CRU is deflecting. Meaning that our, we have 0, 0.00, but still connecting success. Yes, success. We have 13.43 unit. Wow, that's a big unit. We still have token. You can see we still have token. Let's go back to our connection. That we can avoid that. Let's go back to our connection. Let's go continue with our testing. Showing that current is flowing out from the meter. Yeah, our meter current is flowing up. You can see. But let's put our fuse. This fuse is rated 15 amp. That is what that is a re reliable fuse. Let's test. Can test current is going out. Waiting. Can test our switch as well. You can see. So guys, what we need is to power our valve by switching from this point. We need to power our valve by switching as well you can test. Then there is something wrong, we can modify it very fast. It is very fine. Test that this is complete. So it should be not complete, meaning our probe we can test this. So you should be careful because now we are working on the live wire. You should be careful. You should be careful because don't cut. 
come into contact with the live wire should be very very careful very 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 careful Very, very careful. Okay, guys, here it is. You can control it. That's what done. Here you see, this is a source. This is our MCB. It's cut off the current. It's a main switch to put on. The now meter is energized. You will hear some sounds. That is it. Our current is now flowing to splitter switch. This splitter board, you can use splitter board or you can use consumer unit. At the splitter board, you have main and return. You have live and return. The, the live one will go directly to the switch and the return goes directly to the lamp. You can see the return goes direct to the lamp and the main and the live wire goes to the switch from the switch we connect it through half half life to the bulb why do you call it half life because if we put switch off it is dead if we put it on it's live so 